Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. I have my window open and I'm just thinking right now, oh, my neighbor's probably like, oh God, here she goes again. Look at, I lit a little candle. Because mm. it smells good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's tangerine. How's everybody? Okay. Um, I'm so excited. Palette four. Palette four. Oh. Do you have it yet? Hi, ladies. Hi. Hi, Kim. Eva. Hi. Do you guys have this yet? Oh my gosh. Seriously. Seriously. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You know that I'm excited if I'm going live putting on my makeup. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know, do you know that I have never put makeup on live before? I always did it in a video. You know, it's so funny. I've only been doing this business for three years and already it feels like so old, like totes old school, right? To be making a video and post it on YouTube and then sharing the link and all that stuff. Oh my gosh, look how far we've come. Look how far we've come, people. This is so much more fun. So much more fun. <sighs> so this arrived yesterday after I had already left the house and I was gone all day. So I got home last night completely exhausted and too tired to play with it. To be honest, I was more excited about the skincare last night because I wanted to get the makeup just off and get in my jammies. Um, so yeah, I have a big box of love right here next to me full of all of, it's like, it's like Noah's Ark up in here because I was allowed to order two of each. So yeah, two and two and two and two. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So waiting for the 15th and I can get some more. I'm so excited because I don't ever want to run out of this stuff. So now I'll be honest with you. Um, there's only two things getting me to put on makeup today. I love me some makeup and I love playing with makeup, but I do love me some no makeup days. And this was gonna be a no makeup day, but I gotta take my daughter to the doctor in about <clears throat> an hour. And then, um, and then palette four was here. So I'm like, you know what? It's baby Jesus telling me, Sherry, get your makeup on. So let's get going. First of all, I was really torn, I will be honest with you, because I got the new matte splurge. Happy, makes me happy. I love this color and I am so excited for matte colors. I just can't even, can't even take, wait, she has a question, it's so important. That new mascara, it's just not like the old one. Do you have any suggestions? Let me tell you something. If you have a mascara that is not working properly, send it back, send it back. Absolutely, please send it back. Um, yes, because I have had, I had a couple that I was not thrilled with. I will be honest with you. I just opened up a fresh set. Um, I've been seeing pictures on the internet of ladies with amazing lashes. So I am excited to use this new set um, because I'm hearing really good things. So. Anyway, you know, every line I've ever worked for, spit happens, spit happens. So this matte splurge, those of you who have used splurge in the past, it's always had that sparkle, right? And it's been, been very pillowy, very pillowy. So turns out that the ingredient that they put into splurge, the original splurge before these mats, I'm trying to explain why this texture is different. The ingredient that they put in it before caused the sparkle and also caused that pillowy effect. So this one you'll find is a lot more solid, which by the way, there's a lot of product in here. A lot of product. There's a lot of product in regular splurge. This one is denser. Is that a word? Denser? More dense? This is gonna last you for a really long time, but I want you to make sure, because this is crease resistant, um, crease proof, put that lid on really, really, really tight. But I was torn today because I was like, mm, I wanna wear a splurge, which would look really cute with my top too. But no, we have to go with our palette number four. Now, I'm gonna do something today that I used to love to do um, back in the day, and I'm gonna revisit it, you know, because 
our lovely makeup corporate makeup artist um, Ashley Kwai, she said that uh, there are no rules, and I would agree with her that there are no rules. So here's what I'm going to do. Hold on to your hats. Here's a little tip for you. See this beautiful, beautiful eyeliner? Which one is this? Pristine. Okay, it's the white. I'm going to sharpen it. Well, first thing, here's a little tip for you. You ever find sometimes when you're sharpening pencils, sometimes they break? Not just unique, just everybody. Look, it's because of the leverage. Turn the sharpener. Turn the sharpener. See? See what we're doing? You turn the sharpener, not the pencil. Because when you turn the pencil, sometimes you can tend to like kind of bend it a little and it'll break off. And did you know what this little purple guy is? Purple man, this little stick there, is to clean out the blades. Yeah. How many of you didn't know that? I know. Full of tips today, people. How many of you didn't know that? <laughs> how long did it take you to realize that there was a um that there was a little protective film on your lip gloss mirror. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, I was about a month in. I had a customer show me. Yeah, embarrassing. Okay, so here's what I'm doing with this white liner. I already have my um, eye primer on. Okay, I use that every day that I wear makeup. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm gonna do with this because I'm gonna put this right along my lash line because here's what I find. I find that if I have a light color right next to the lash line, it makes my lashes look longer, right? Because there's that contrast between the dark lashes and that light color. I do love a good, you know, liquid line, but sometimes if I want to, if I want to feel fresher, if I want to feel, um, maybe a little less made up, um, also, I find that I can get away with wearing more eye color and not feeling like my grandma used to say two burnt holes in a blanket, right? Um, as long as I put a light color right along my lash line um, and on my lid, I can get away with a darker color in the crease. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to warm this up on the palm of my hand, okay? I'm going to warm it up just a little bit because then I'm applying, and yes, yes I am. I hear you out there. You're like, Sherry, what are you doing? You're applying your liner first? Um, yes, I am. Because, what do you see? All right, so I put this on first. Not a ton, but just a little bit. See, right there, okay. Warm it up again. And I put another little line here. You know what I'm gonna do after this? I'm gonna just go ahead and do one eye because I don't want you to have to feel like you have to sit here and watch me do it twice. We're gonna just gonna do one eye, okay? Whoop. Hi, hi, eyes are popping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. How's everybody? Good morning. My bathroom is back. Oh, because of Facebook Live, it's backwards. Yes, I've remodeled. I've remodeled, Spron. Okay, now, where's my brushes? I'm gonna do this eye because it's closest to my mirror here. And I'm using palette four, palette four. If you don't have your palette four yet, um, I'm going to tell you right now. Tender is the lightest one and it is has a shimmer. I wouldn't say, you know, I think there's there's mattes, there's shimmer, and then there's frosts. Frosts makes me sound totally 80s, but I don't care. That's the word I'm gonna use. This is not a frost, this is a shimmer. This dude is a frost. He is frosty. He is secretive. He is not so secretive. He is a frost all day long. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Tender, the lightest one. Okay, the light guy right here. And I'm going to put it on top. Because here's what's going to happen. So I did that white liner, right? I did the white liner. And you're not going to really be able to see exactly the white liner. But it's going to be a little teeny bit lighter right above my lashes. Oh my dreams. Now, because I just can't stand it and I'm an impatient woman, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little up under my brow because I I just can't wait to see what that looks like. <sighs> now, if you're saying to yourself, you know, Sherry, these colors are beautiful and I would wear them in my wardrobe, but I will not wear them on my eyes. No, I won't because I don't do blues and greens. Here's what I'm gonna say to you. I feel 
feel you. I feel you. And I'm going to show you how to use them, okay? Because I will tell you that my favorite eyeliner of all time is Precarious, which is a navy blue. And we have a navy blue shadow. So I just about squealed when I saw that. But here's how you're going to use it. First, you're gonna go with your browns. You're gonna go with what you know. You're gonna go with what makes your heart sing. Now, there's arrogant and there's brave. And I'm gonna be brave and I'm gonna dive into brave. I love these names. Secretive, honest, cheerful, and triumphant. You will be triumphant with your eyeshadow today, ladies. Okay, so when you go to put your eyeshadow on, don't do one of these, okay? Look down your nose, because see what happens? Now I have all this space, now I have all this room, now I can see, and you can also see the natural crease of your eye right around in there. So I'm gonna get in there with this color, and you're gonna put it on, and you're not gonna be scared. There is nothing you can do on your eyes that you cannot correct, okay? So don't be scared. So I'm gonna start where I want the most color. Oh, wow, see, look at how dark that is. Holy moly. And I don't want you to, th you know, there's a reason when you do makeovers on people that you don't let them see what's happening. Because if somebody liked a more natural look and I did one of these, they're gonna freak their shizzle, right? At the same time, you kinda do need them to know what it looks like in the process because if they just see the finished product and they go home and they do this, they're gonna freak out that they've done too much, okay? So, here we go. Start there and I'm pulling it forward. Now, I don't like a whole lot of color in here. If you have a lot of color on the inside, it's gonna make your eyes look closer set. If you have more color on the outside, they're wider set, okay? So you can adjust if your eyes, you know, if you feel like your eyes are a little too close set or you're like an owl way on the side of your, what are those geckos? It's fine, I love a good gecko. I love that the eyes go separate. It's fine, don't judge yourself, be who you are. So anyway, so I put this up in here and I drag it a little bit, just a little bit, because I like to keep it clean. I like to keep it clean. Again, you can get away with more color if you keep it clean, clean lid, clean brow. But there's no rules, people, there's no rules. Now, now I go to, now that was my little angle brush, right? Now I go to my blender brush, and I don't, I didn't put any more product on here, and I'm just blending the edges, just the outside. Now I kind of go up like that, because sometimes, but, one of the reasons I start here and I pull it forward is because if you're doing out like this, you're gonna end up with all kinds of color way out up in there. So I'm just gonna do the edges, a little bit, little bit, a little clean it up, can you see, uh-huh. I'm just cleaning it up. You know when you see those girls and their eyeshadows just like, oh my God, it looks so amazing. You know the point, you, you know why? It's because they took a heck of a lot of time to blend that stuff. They blend and they blend and they blend and then they blend a little more and then they're like, hmm, well, wait a minute, now it's a little bit too light, so now I'm gonna add a little bit more. And they blend and they blend and they blend. It's blending. Think about your smoothie. Think about your smoothies when you throw them in the blender. You just hit that blender button once or twice, you might have some chunks of kale in there and that's just, nobody wants that. You keep hitting that blender, people. Okay, so you see what I've done? So now, this is a normal, hold on, can you see? Don't look at my shower, look at my candle. See what I'm saying, see what I'm saying? Okay, now, I'm gonna show you how to use that color. <laughs> Let's get in there. You know, I really wanna do this, dude. But I feel like, I don't know, which one are you guys more scared of? Are you more scared of cheerful or triumphant? I could do either one, I ain't scared. I ain't scared of either one. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my, bruh, this is my little spongy. Um, let's start with cheerful, cause I can always add the darker on top of that to show you. We're gonna start with cheerful. Okay, see here, I'm gonna try to do it in the foam. Here's all I'm doing. I still got my natural browns on. But now, I'm just putting this dude like in the outer corner. Now, you can do like a V, or you can just kind of place it. I just kind of place it. Boop, 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 boop. Now I'm gonna go back to my blender brush. And I'm just gonna kind of blend the edges a little bit. So that's the thing with dark colors. See, I wanna kind of push it this way because I don't want it getting down on my cheeks. Now, one trick, if it does, if you are worried about it getting down on your cheeks, take a little bit of your Moodstruck Minerals, 
the loose, you know, and just tap some here, and then whatever falls on top of them, when, then when you're done, you just take your puffer brush and whoof, and you make that noise, and it works even better. Almost poke myself in the eyeball. Okay, look at that. Okay, see what I'm saying? I got a little bit of color. Now, you may be wondering, Sherry, why is Precarious, the navy blue liner, your favorite? I'll tell you why. It is my favorite because it is such a dark color that when you put it on, nobody's gonna know. You you you, you can't really tell. Is it black, is it brown, is it navy blue? It just blends in. And this, the thing with navy blue, navy blue will make the whites of your eyes even lighter. <gasps> so your eyes are popping. This is just disturbing, this difference right here. I feel like one of those drag queens. That... Now I'm gonna sharpen. Now if you weren't here in the beginning, look. Hold the pencil still. Turn the sharpener. You'll get a better sharpen pencil. Do you hear those birds? Okay. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little line while I have it here. And here's what I do. Oh my gosh, my mother. I love you, mom. Are you watching? She's on a plane right now, I think. Okay, good. We can talk. I have taught thousands of women how to put eyeliner on. I've never had a challenge like my mother. Here's the deal. Under the lash line, you do not, one does not need to draw a continuous line, okay? Because if I draw a continuous line versus if I get a lot of dashes, it's the same, it's the same. You don't have to have a steady hand. So what I do is I go right under my lash line and I just do, I even just do like little dots because I want it to be natural. I just want it to basically make it look like um, I have more lashes down there too. You know, that's actually what it does. Boom, a little bit, just a little bit of something. You can, now for me, if I was going out, I would line just where that dark color is. I would just kind of line right there, but I would blend it. You know, I don't want to be able to see where it stops but I like to keep it clean. I like to keep a clean eye. It's just me, it's what I prefer, and it's fine. You do you, boo. You do you. Okay, so we're gonna go back. So I think I've done enough blending, but do you see? Do you see how it's not scary? Do you see how it's not scary? It's not, I, this, this eye just like blows me away. But do you see what I'm saying? It's not scary. It's not scary. Now, if you really want that eye to pop too, go back and put like a little bit of, um, put a little bit of, a little bit of tenderness, a little bit of tender, right in the middle. Now let me tell you, I was doing makeovers in the 80s and we would do a thing, we would do a thing where it was like pink in the inside, gold, and then blue, all frosty, like, wow, yeah. And we weren't ashamed of ourselves, we weren't, we, were not. We loved ourselves. See? Look at that. Look at that. <sighs> now, I feel really lopsided, but I don't want you to have to stick around for my other eyeball. Um, can you handle it? Can you stand it right now? Can you even, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know which one to choose. I don't know. I, I, I don't, I can't, I don't. Mm. Let's start with the lightest and then I'll just do different ones. Okay, so let's do a little lip liner tutorial. Here's what, here's what you do. So everybody, most everybody has two lip lines. You've got the color and then you've got like that Sometimes it'll be a little bit more on the outside where it doesn't have the color, but it's kind of a ridge, right? You can line either one. If you want your lips to look a little bit larger on the bottom, line that ridge. If you don't, that's fine too. So you can, you know, minimize the lip or maximize the lip. I almost have no upper lip. It's very sad to say. Um, I'm not a big fan of drawing on the outside. I have seen women do that. If you don't have a ridge there, like that ridge is as far as you are legally allowed to go. I know I said there's no rules. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit that and say there are some rules. Don't go. I, friends don't let friends go out looking like a hot mess. Okay. So um, 
Again, this is how another way to do to line your lips if you struggle. Okay, so you draw a line straight across the bottom. Oh, this is a good color. Maybe I should use a darker colored. Oh my god, this is a good color. Which one is this? Prudent. Mm! Okay, draw a line straight across the bottom and then connect the sides. Now, my natural lip line and my little ridge are almost exactly the same. The ridge is just a little bit out there. So I'm gonna connect the sides. And here's the other thing. Oh, that's a good one. I have a darker natural lip color. So I sometimes have a harder time with lighter colors if the color is lighter than my natural lip. You know, it looks a little wonky sometimes. Um, this one though, this is, I'm enjoying this. I will be honest with you. Okay. So the top one, what do we do? Here we go. This is your bow. You do the V and then connect the sides. Uh -huh. And again, you don't have to have one continuous motion. If you're like wiggle, you just do a little dashes. There you go. Oh, this is a good one. Now, I like to color in on the sides. That's just me. And then I leave the middle. Because it gives a little bit of a pout. Uh huh. Do I have any lipsticks here with me? I should have planned ahead. I have lip bonbon. I have my, oh, I have my sitting pretty. <gasps> Hey, hey, sitting pretty. I don't, you know, it is pretty, but I just am feeling like maybe Sherry needs a little more lip color. Maybe I need more lip color. What else we got? Oh, let's get crazy. Right, I'm gonna blow your mind right now. <laughs> loaded. Sherry, sure, you just put on a light lip liner. What are you doing with loaded? You be quiet. I can do what I want. I can do what I want. And you know what else? I got the new lip brush. Wait, where is it? Where'd it go? Hold on. Hold on. Got the new. Okay. Okay. I've used a million lip brushes. I'm sure you have too. Have you ever seen one like this? Like there's no cap. There's no cap. What? It's like down in there. Whoa. So now I don't have to like take the cap off. What am I gonna do with the stinking cap and hold it while I'm trying to do my lip and my thing? Now I don't always do like this, but sometimes a girl needs it. I don't care what lip liner I use. I can mix any lipstick with any lip color, right? Any lipstick with any color. It doesn't matter. And you know what? I'm gonna go over that line just a little bit. <gasps> Okay, you're gonna go crazy right now. You are gonna go flipping nuts, and I'm gonna tell you, what am I wearing again? Prudent and loaded. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, get ready. Get ready, unique warehouse. Cause you're gonna be selling this. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go around the outside. I'm gonna leave that lighter in the middle. Mm-hmm. This is a good lip brush. You know why it's good? Cause it's not sliding back down. Cause of the way it's made. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So my lip liner is giving my lips definition and I'm just going over the top a little bit. And by using a lip brush, you can get a lighter coat. So it's a little bit lighter of a color. <gasps> See, Sherry needs Sherry sure needs some color on those lips. Otherwise, I look like death. And you cutie girls out there that wear these light colors and look amazeballs, good for you, boo. See, loaded. Let me get a better angle. So I feel like ye, it looks different in the camera than it does on my mirror here. I just squeeze. That's all I do. I take a tish. Put my brush in there and I just squeeze. Mm. These need to go in every stocking this year. BT dubs. BT dubs. 
Okay, let me look. Let me look, let me look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mwah. Mm hmm I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye. You guys, if you're done with me, you can be done with me. Um, I'm gonna pop back on a little bit. I was gonna do it before I picked up my daughter, but now I may have to do it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and rub my nose on national TV. No, I know it's not. But yeah, I don't care, people. I'm a person, I'm a real person. And so sometimes my nose itches. And if it itches, I'm gonna scratch that itch because I'm a human being. But anyway, I'm gonna do this other eye. So if you have things to do, please go take care of your business. But I'm gonna um, pop back on later today because I thought, you know what, let's do a little, while Sherry has makeup on, we'll do a little bit of Q&A. We'll do a little bit of q and I'll answer any of your questions. Okay, so now here's what I do again. I'm starting with Tender. For those that weren't here in the beginning, I have the pristine liner. I put the liner on first. I warmed it up in my hand. I, I, I've, I know I've learned you have to do it exactly like you do it because if I did it with the cap on it that you would try to do it with the cap on it at home. Not all of you, but some of you would. Warm it up right here on my hand. Get it warm so that it glides. And I put it on one line. And the reason that I do that is because when I go to put my shadow on top, that area right next to my lashes is just a teensy bit lighter and when it's a teensy bit lighter it makes your lashes stand out okay hold on there's people outside please hold beep, beep, beep. Okay. it's not often I'm home alone anymore you know the hubby's retired okay so there boom I did that <laughs> it's my dog snoring okay there we go a little bit there love this color so much I can't even stand it okay here we go I'm using brave which is a dark brown it's matte look at that don't be scared that's what it looks like when it goes on that's what it looks like I start you start where you want the color to be the darkest I'm pulling it in but I'm not going all the way because I want to keep a clean look in here because that's just me also I'm not doing this because you're gonna get all kinds of brown um, shadow on the outside. So I'm gonna do that guy in there. Done. And then I'm not putting any more product on here. This is now my blender. I'm just blending. Blend, blend, blend. You must blend. Remember what I said earlier, you will end up with pieces of kale in your juice. You gotta blend. Blend it like a boss. All right, there. See how fast that was? Are you seeing how fast this is, people? Now, we're going cheerful. Boop, cheerful. I know, I hear you, don't be scared. Putting it in just the outer corner. Again, you can do a V if you want. Like, I kind of go on top of my brown just a little bit. And I blend it here. You know, the biggest thing is making sure everything is even. I'm gonna take the other side that's clean and I'm gonna blend that. And see, I'm pulling in because again, I don't want blue all out here. Some will think you got into an altercation. <sighs> there we go, there we go. I'm gonna go pick my daughter up from school in about a half hour. My sister is the um, office manager there and I'm gonna walk in and she's gonna go, whoa! Cause she knows me. I am not usually like this in my daily life. I will be honest with you. But you know, when I even when I worked in cosmetics for years in department stores, um, none of us girls, when we would pop into the store on our day off, none of us ever had makeup on. I'm taking a little bit of that light, that tender, and I'm just gonna make sure, cause I just like it to be lighter right above my eye, see? And like I said earlier, you can really get away with a lot more color on your eye if you keep it clean under your brow and you keep it clean on the lid. Okay, and then my favoritest, favoritest, um, precarious liner, navy blue, keeps the whites of your eyes looking even whiter. This eye right here is red, red, red. 
I have allergies. There is pollen or something in the air, I will tell you right now. My eyes water, 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 water. So I'm just dabbing it right under the lash line. Okay, all right, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> all right, let's do, should we do the, um, let's do our lashes. If you're still here with me, God bless. Let's do some lashes, people. This is how I like to do them. Hold on. Open. Yeah. Okay. Both in the same hand. Okay. There we go. Now, I'm torn on the whole curl your lash thing because I always curled my lashes for years. Years and years and years I curled my lashes. But then I thought, you know, I think I was wasting some of the length when it was angling. You know, because I don't know. I'm torn. Do my lashes look longer when I don't curl them or when I do curl them? Some days I curl, some days I don't. I don't have my curler. Yeah, no, I won't curl. And isn't that always the funniest thing to watch people put mascara on because that your mouth hangs open. I don't know why. We have to send them straight. Sit straight. Okay. And then sometimes some people are blinkers. I'm not really a blinker. Although, although I did watch Brie Richardson put on her mascara and she like really blinked it down and it made the lashes curl up. So maybe that needs to be my technique. I brush, brush, brush to get them, um, not just to get the gel on them, but I'm separating my lashes. My lashes are very, um, I don't know what's the word, dense, I guess. They're like close together. I like to put on, I like to separate them, but I like to put on a ton of gel. And this is kind of a new technique that I got from Brie. Well, it's, it's like old is new again, right? So I put the mascara on, okay, like that. Okay, that's just one coat of the fiber, I mean of the gel. And then I'm going to do one coat on each eye first and then go back and do gel fibers gel. Just because. Because I have time and because I want to. And because I like to separate my lashes and kind of give them a base. I feel like it makes them even longer. You know, it's funny. So we're going to go see this pediatrician and I haven't seen her in like two years. Um, and she's been my kid's pediatrician since, so for 10 years, since my daughter was born. And, oh boy, she saw me when I was in the trenches with the toddler and then the newborn and just all the problems and, oh my goodness. And so, uh, I'm going to be popping in there because you figured the last time I saw her two years ago, I had a really good business, but it was nothing like it is now. And um, I know she's gonna be all, so what's new? Oh my goodness, lady, how much time do you have? But I got blitz cards. Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, I just am doing, all I'm doing right now, you may think, God, Sherry, putting on that freaking gel forever. No, I'm brushing my lashes and I'm separating my lashes. Don't judge me. You know what's ironic? This is so ironic. There's two things. I always said this from the time I was in high school. Two things that I hate applying. You're gonna laugh. Two things that I hate doing for the morning routine. Number one, I hate blow drying my hair. Who's with me? Who hates blow drying their hair? Oh my God, I hate it. Hate drying my hair. And I hate putting on mascara. <laughs> Since I was a teenager, isn't that ironic? That I end up with a mascara empire after hating to put on mascara. Don't get me wrong, I always did it because my gosh, nothing changes the look of your face like long lashes. Okay, so now I got all my gel on and now I'm gonna do my fibers. Now, I don't take this much time every day to do it. Sometimes I just slap that puppy on there. But, um, today I'm just gonna have a little extra time, and plus we're spending time together, we're chatting, isn't that lovely? What? Excuse me? Excuse me? To the lady who had a set that she was not happy with, honey girl, you send that back. Do not accept anything less than fantastic. 
send that back and get another one. Do, do, do. Oh my giddy up. I'm gonna do just a little more gel. I'm a gel freak. I'm a gel freak, I am. I put lots and lots and lots of gel. But a lot of times, you know, what I'm doing is I'm separating my lashes. Like instead of using a lash comb, I'll be honest, I am not good with a lash comb. I can't do it. I mean, I can do it, but geez, I just, so I just do it with this. Woo, look at that. Oh, what? What? Hi, hi. Mm-hmm. Which one do you want to be? Sad little girl or happy girl? Because that's just one coat of gel, which, which, to be honest, to be honest, <laughs> that one coat of gel is actually a better look than the regular mascara that I used to use. And it was not a cheap one. All right, so let's do this one again. So now, that's my base, right? I've already separated my lashes. So now when I go gel fibers gel, I don't have to worry about my lashes sticking together. Because my it's, it's weird. It's like my lashes, on the one hand, I'm like, yay, okay, I have full fullness. But there's like, a, there's like a crop of lashes right in here that I swear they're like growing on top of each other. And so they like to combine and become the unilash. And um, I ain't having none of that. None of it. None of it. Oh my God. I'm so happy with this palette number four. <gasps> so many options. You know what I love? Because um, I travel a lot. And when I travel, I would love to bring all my palettes with me. But sometimes it just cannot be. Because I like to travel with just a carry-on. So I have to pick one. And I hate picking one, but now, you know what I can do? Now, I can use palette four because it has browns in it and it has color. Oh my goodness, it's a whole new world. It's a whole new, a whole new world. Shut up, I have kids. You know you sing it too. You know you're singing, you know that song's gonna be stuck in your head all day long. Hashtag, you're welcome. Okay, top it off with a little bit of gel. My goodness. This is crazy. Oh. Uh... Oh my goodness sakes almighty. You just cannot, I'm telling you, you can't beat a good, you can't beat a good lash, people. You can't beat a good lash. Wow. Nelly. Yeah, again, I'm not, um, you know, you don't have to take this much time, but I'm just brushing and separating my lashes. Okay, I'm sorry. Shazam. Can I just say it? There we go. Make sure I don't have any. <laughs> to be honest, I just do that anyway because I can't see without my glasses. Let me flip it to the magnification. So I'm like, if I had anything that fell from the brush, then I want to get rid of it. No, I'm good. <gasps> oh, they're long, ladies. They are long. Can you see? Yeah. Oh. Get, get a good angle. Wait, sideways. Sideways. Right here. Oh, man. Mm. Palette number four. Palette number four. And again, this was um, prudent and loaded with the new lippy pencil. I mean, lippy brush. That is my new wonderful favorite. Anyway, I hope you guys have received all of your new products. And if you're a customer watching, get a hold of your unique presenter because September 15th, it's coming. One more week. One more week. And you are going to be able to have access to all of this stuff. It is incredible and amazing. And I am so excited. Are we back? Sorry. Um, my husband just called. So good timing. I was just going to say thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll be back later today and we'll do... Um, We'll do some Q&A, so get your questions together. Okay, love you. Bye.